हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी फिनिश्ड विद द कोडिंग पार्ट ऑफ एड सेलेक्शन स्क्रीन आउटपुट इवेंट now it is extremely important to understand the full flow in the debugging mode and whenever we will understand in the debugging mode we will get a full clarity how it is different from initialization event how it is different from at selection screen event full understanding will be there in the debugging mode so now we will start with the same so what i will do i will firstly put a breakpoint in initialization event i will put a breakpoint in add selection screen output event and i will put a breakpoint in add selection screen event and i will put a breakpoint in start of selection extremely important flow because it is very important to understand how selection screen is coming every time yes now i will run the program whenever i will run the program we all know we have two events which is calling or which is called before displaying the selection screen what is first event initialization but is second event at selection screen output we'll firstly go for that i am running the program whenever i run the program firstly which event called initialization it assigned the default values to the select option to the select option of ordered it so firstly this logic will execute now i am doing f8 now have you seen selection screen has not come yet firstly which event called at selection screen output so whenever our selection screen is coming for the first time firstly which event called initialization then which event called at selection screen output event now this check box is blank so it means this if condition is true it will check where the modif id cur we gave the modif id cur to which particular with which particular select option s underscore cur r so it will apply a loop and it will make these currency things are in the inactive mode because we put active is equal to 0 i am doing f8 have you seen those currency things are inactive they are not visible now we will go for next thing i am selecting this check box now we are performing action on the screen we gave a function code we are going for action on the screen now you all know whenever you are going for action on the screen selection screen which event called at that point of time at selection screen we are clicking on to execute button we are pressing enter now we gave function code also to this button anyways it's a action now so which event will trigger first at selection screen now i am selecting have you seen which event triggered now at selection screen it will validate everything if you have reduced if you have done some validation we did the validation for payment mode anyways we are not passing any payment mode now the most most important point now everything is correct now whenever i will do f8 your selection screen will appear your selection screen will appear now whenever your selection screen or input screen will appear again which event will call now at selection screen output initialization will not call now 
because initialization event only only calling for the first time first time our selection screen appeared now whenever i will do f8 it will go to add selection screen output what is the meaning of add selection screen output it is calling every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen we selected the checkbox we selected the checkbox so now what it will do firstly based upon the action it will validate the input input is correct now it will go to add selection screen output now you can see our checkbox is selected now we selected the checkbox it means this if condition is false system will go to which particular if condition this if condition now you can see system went to that if condition now you can see our three things are visible now it is very very important to understand that add selection screen output event called every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen now i am deselecting the checkbox whenever i will deselect yes i am performing a action on the selection screen or input screen so whenever i will perform a action firstly which event will call add selection screen it will validate the input now we are again modifying the selection screen or input screen so we our selection screen input screen will appear so which event will call again add selection screen output now checkbox is deselected so this if condition is true this if condition is true so it will simply simply make the things inactive have you seen again we are modifying the screen so whenever you are modifying the screen the logic is written as a part of which event add selection screen output now you can see again it is hidden if i am again selecting firstly it will validate the input because we perform the action add selection screen event will call then it will go to add selection screen output now the check box is x if this check box is x it will again make the things active because active is equal to 1 now you can see we have again the things are visible now and we will go for simply simply this execute button now execute is also a action on the selection screen whenever i will go to execute button firstly add selection screen event called it validated the input now which event will call start of selection because we all know on execute button start of selection event called our selection logic will execute and this is the output this is the output now add selection screen output will not call because now we are on output screen if we whenever we want to display the selection screen or input screen at that time every time which event will call add selection screen output now you can simply simply relate the real difference whenever we run the program for the first time at that time initialization event called add selection screen output yes it it will trigger and it should trigger because it is triggering every time so based upon that initialization it assign the default values based upon add selection screen output it make the currency column in the invisible mode because based upon this we modify we are using for modify now after that when we selected the checkbox when we selected the checkbox when whenever we will select the checkbox it means we are performing the action whenever we will perform the action at selection screen will call first now after that yes screen is modifying selection screen is modifying so which event called add selection screen output output 
initialization will not trigger because initialization triggered for the first time. Whenever I will deselect the checkbox, again, add selection screen event will call because we are performing action on the selection screen or input screen. Then again, which event will call? Add selection screen output output because we need to display the selection screen or input screen. Make a golden rule that is previously also covered. That golden rule will you help you in module pool programming also. Whenever you want to validate, always, always go for in classical report. Whenever you want to validate, go for add selection screen. Whenever you want to go for selection screen modification, whenever you want to modify the selection screen, go for add selection screen output. If you are comparing it to module pool topic, if you want to validate, go for process after input. Whenever you want to go for screen modification, go for process before output. It's a golden rule always. You can simply, simply understand at selection screen is equal to process after input of module pool. It is clearly, clearly mentioned in the slide also at selection screen is equal to process after input of module pool and at selection screen output is equal to process before output of module pool. Yes, you can learn module pool through a separate playlist. So that's complete, complete flow of at selection screen output event. One of the most, most important event from the interview perspective. So that's it in this video. Thank you.